Hi everybody, this is Paula. I'm the green pen pretty much on everywhere on social media. And I wanted to talk with you today about my blog post that I posted on Sunday and share a summary of it with you and encourage you to visit and share your opinion. The question is, if a runner finishes a race after the stated cutoff time, but they do do the distance, did they finish? Or do they have to claim it as a DNF? My opinion is, hi there, my opinion is that they finished. And it came up on a run chat a couple of weeks ago, um, and one specific discussion with another run chatter who felt like if you don't train within the rules that you really shouldn't attempt that distance or you shouldn't claim the finish if you don't make the cutoff. Hey Amanda, nice to see you. And I feel differently for several reasons. I think we've all had situations come up like a medical crisis that makes it take longer than we thought it would. We probably all had a volunteer accidentally steer us around a wrong corner and add an extra tenth or longer of a mile to the race, we've had things come up that make it not work out the way we plan to. And I think in the case of this situation on Twitter, it was that the person is also a coach that made me feel even more strongly about it. I could have a, I respect that person's opinion of course too, but I could have a disagreement with another runner, but I think coaches have an additional responsibility to help their athletes set goals that are a challenge for them, a challenge and realistic. I know it's about finding a balance and I think it's something my coach does exceptionally well. I really encourage you to read my blog about it. I share about walking the New York City half marathon. As my friend Mary Jane and I walked it, we, they were taking the water tables down because we were very near the end of the cutoff and probably technically past it. We had to deal with our own hydration. We were lucky to still get medals and blankets because it was freezing. But I walked every one of those 13.1 miles, raised the $2,500 for team and training and prevention or care and research for leukemia and lymphoma, which is far more important in the long run than what my time was or the medal or any of that. I also have a friend who did an ultra race and it was part of a series, an ultimate challenge series our club did, our golf and track club. Shout out to Golfman's Track Club. And this runner is, besides being a friend, she's simply an amazing, amazing individual. She had worked so hard. She had trained to the rules. She was exceptionally prepared to finish that ultra race by the cutoff. It was the last race of, like I said, that series. She finished it about, I don't recall the specifics, 50 minutes or an hour past the cutoff and did not got awarded the ultra completion award because although she did finish the 50 miles, she was not listed in the official results. Revenge was hers, however, because she was named our club's female runner of the year for the entire year of 2015. And no one, and I mean no one, deserved that honor more than her. I had accompanied her, she, well, she had accompanied me on a run when it was like 100 degrees outside and she could have run so much faster, had a much more pleasant run, I'm sure, but because she knew I needed someone to be with me, she selflessly joined me. But I say, in her case, it wasn't a DNF, it was an FWC, finished with class, which makes it funny that you're on, Amanda, because it was, you know, a runner FWC. But I would love your opinion on my blog. Like I said, it's at www.biggreenpen.com. <laughs> and I also have a little Twitter poll if you want to join me on Twitter. It's up for 24 hours. I'd love to just, it's so important to me that runners who might otherwise say, well, then why should I try? Us back of the packers, slower runners. I don't want people to have barriers. I want them to enjoy running. I want them to feel that they are part of the running community because they are. And I don't want, having dealt with people who can be elitist about running, I don't want them to suffer that. I want them to know that they are welcome as part of this running community. And that's it for today. Thanks, Amanda, for joining me. I saw someone else join and I really appreciate it. And I'll be signing off for now. Everybody have a great day.